How are you today? Uh, well, I work half of time in an, in an office and another half time in a house. Okay, good. And, home. <laughs> and yesterday? Yesterday you had to work? Yesterday. Uh, yes, I went to the Sonsonate. Ah, okay. So then it was a long trip. Yep. Okay. But everything is fine. Okay, the good thing is that we have a job, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay, hello, it is. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Se fue el frío, ¿verdad? Sí, aparentemente sí se fue el frío. Ah, oh, yeah. ya. Yeah. Sí, ya, pero ya siento calorcito. Ya, tuve, ya me tuve que poner a la parte de la ventana. <laughs> <laughs> Aire acondicionado. Yeah. <laughs> sí, ya no hay viento. De repente se detuvo. Sí, sí. Al mediodía todavía se sentía un poco, pero ya en la tarde estaba espantoso el calor. Yes, that's true. Okay, so we'll see while the others come in. Uh, well. Okay, here we go. Share screen. Okay, so here's where we stopped last night. Uh, we were talking about the natural compound. Okay, sound natural when saying compound nouns, drop, verb, of course. And after that, we have the pronunciation of post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, and we practice the pronunciation. And after that, we went to the next one, which was by the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place, right? Then remember we had on, next to, across from, uh, in front of, okay, between. And then those are to give directions and location. Okay, so we're gonna practice with locations today. And then we listen to this video. I'm going to repeat this video because I think it has important information that we need to to, to practice, right? Okay, I will I will share my computer sound. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which <clears throat> illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. 
On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. In order to give directions, straight how this by listening to a conversation. Okay, we're going to go by parts, okay, because there is a lot of information in the video, okay? So, in the, in the video first, we have the conversation where they are using some uh, a prepositions. And then, let me see here, we have one that is complete. Okay, here, okay, this one's bad. Okay, so we have... It says, excuse me, okay? This is, you know, when you are walking in the street, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? So this is, uh, let's say two questions that are very important and basic at the same time, you know, to, to ask for help in the street. The first thing is, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Okay, you can say, is there a bank near here? Is there a drugstore near here? Is there a church near here? Is there a restaurant near here? Okay, so you can ask for different places, okay? Is there a park near here? And then the lady says, a public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so, okay? I don't know, I don't believe. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store. Okay, and where is the department store? Okay, she says on Main Street. Okay, there is a department store on Main Street. And then the man says, where? Where on Main Street? For example, if I, um, and then it says, in, it's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Uh, if I tell you, for example, is there a McDonald's near here? And we are, a, we are in Antiguo Cuscatlan, right? And I say, is there a McDonald's near here? And then I say, yes, there is one on Los Proceres Boulevard. Yes. And they say, mm, yeah, but Los Proceres Boulevard is from, uh, from Uca, from Uca to uh, Hermano Lejano, right? So it's, it's a big distance, it's a long distance. And they say, where, where, where on Los Proceres Boulevard? And, th and then you say, on Albert Einstein Street and Los Proceres Boulevard, across from Uca. Okay, opposite corner to Cuscatlan Tower. Okay, so those are references. Okay, I say, all right, good, I got it. Okay, or when you say, for example, where is uh, Sakiro? Sakiro is near the, round, the roundabout by the Cuscatlan Stadium. Okay, on the Crossers Boulevard too. Okay, then you have an idea. Okay, so this is a uh, reference, and they say, where on Main? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, questions about that vocabulary or expression? Okay, so then let's uh, practice the conversation. Okay, and let me see. Uh, Jorge, can you read? You are the, the part of the man 
And Gabby, can you read the part of the woman? Please, let's come, read the okay. conversation. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs to restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Oh, on the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thank a lot. Thanks a lot. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay, now uh, I think we have time for another one. Uh, probably Jose. Jose, you read the part of the man. And we have here Edith. You read the part of the woman. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store in Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Very good. Nice transition. Very good, people. Okay, Herman. And Julissa. Okay. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom. Um, I'm sorry. I don't need to. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there a restroom in the department store on my street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the, on the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's a car from the part you can miss it. And Thanks a lot. Okay, very good. Okay, yes. nice. okay remember the este ejercicio lo hago para que ustedes puedan practicarlo en casa de la misma manera, right? En voz alta, then we can read and read. Just lectura mecánica, right? Just for pronunciation, intonation, y chequear vocabulario, right? Good. Now, questions? In this moment? No. All right, now listen. listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Okay, this is the second part. Okay, now we had the conversation. We see the, the prepositions of place in context. Okay, ya la vimos en contexto, in a conversation. Now, look at the meaning, for example, como usar on, uh, across from, from the corner of, 
across from, next to, and between, okay? For example, look at the meaning of each one. Okay, listen and check the prepositions. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations. On the corner of. Okay, so here we have on. Preposition on. The department store is on Main Street. Okay. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. Okay, ¿cuándo lo vamos a usar? And we're saying, for example, on sobre. Okay, sobre tal calle, right? For example, um, give me examples of San Salvador, please. En los que utilizarían on. For example, we can say, UCA University is on Los Proceres Boulevard. Eh, Juguetón is on Los Proceres Boulevard. Okay. What else? Only practicing on. Banco Agricola is on the boulevard. On los Proceres Boulevard. Yes, okay, very good. Uh -huh. Another one. Eh, Metro Centro is on Los Héroes Boulevard, right? The center is on the Everest Boulevard, Metro Sur too, right? Metro Sur is on the uh, Everest Boulevard. Office Depot is on Everest Boulevard. His uh, office depot is on the Everest Boulevard, okay. And Magico Gonzalez Stadium. Mm. Is on the... Los Héroes Boulevard? Mm. No, no. Eh, the, the problem aquí que de una cuadra a la otra cambian los nombres, right? <laughs> the street. Flor it's Blanca. On the, it's on the 49th, uh, on the 49th, uh, 49th Avenue, right? En la 49 Avenida. Mm. Uh, el nombre acuerdo si es sur o norte. Okay. Be... North, I can't think it's too north. Okay, so sobre es sur. la 49th. Sur, ¿eh? Ya después de ahí... Sur. Creo que llega hasta Tabala y por Office Depot y ahí comienza el, los Everest los Boulevard. Es como la, la calle Rubén Darillo, después del Parque de Cuscatán, se convierte en Manuel Araujo. Okay. Then, o sea, de, un blog, de una calle a la otra cambia el nombre. Ok, something like that. But that's the idea. Ok, but that is the idea. Another one. Lo importante es practicar on. Okay, another example. Uh, um, uh -huh. In the Pizza Hut street, I know it. Uh, on Boulevard, Los Eros. Yes, there is a Pizza Hut on Los, uh, on Los Eros Boulevard. There is also a Mr. Donut, right? On Los Prophets Boulevard. China Walk is on the... China Walk restaurant. There is Eros a... Boulevard. Uh -huh. Can say there is. Uh, we can say also there is. I. Uh, there is. Mm -hmm. uh, El ex mundo feliz. Um, but what is? But is now? What, what is it there? No. Now it's, there is uh, not. Now is shopping center. Uh -huh, shopping shopping center. center. Uh -huh. the, 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 the mundo feliz. Yes. Now it's a shopping center. Yes. Okay. Well, there is a shopping center on Los Proceres Boulevard. Yo creo que ahí se llama Shopping Center. Sí. Yes. Okay. Sí. Sí. Thank you. What else? El Bato del Mundo is on eh, Alameda Roosevelt. Okay, very good. El Bato del Mundo is on Alameda Roosevelt. Okay. But if you see, 
uh, when we use on, it's very general, right? It being generic, es decir, está sobre tal calle, right? On. Así está el ejemplo, number one, this is the department store, is on Main Street. Then, there is another one that is more specific, okay? There is one that is more specific. Second, on the corner of. Then, on the corner of, es cuando pensamos en un lugar que está en la esquina de. Okay? And then that is, uh, ya eso nos da una mejor ubicación, right? For example, ¿Quién se un ejemplo? Think about an example. Um, Convergis is on the corner of Salvador del Mundo. And? ¿Cuál es la otra calle? Eh, Eh, no, no me acuerdo. Inverted. Inverted se lo oí. It's on the corner of. Uh, which one you said? Perdón, Salvador, del, Salvador it's, del Mundo en. Fifth Avenue. Ok, it's on the corner of uh, Alameda, you said, right? Alameda Rusia en. Carlos, aquí está en Alameda Rusia en First Avenue. Ok, ten okay. aquí su teléfono. Ok. Good. Ok. Another example. Por ejemplo, there is, there is a uno, there is a, there is a uno gas station on the corner of Los Héroes Boulevard and the Similitude Street. Yes or no? There is a un, an Uno gas station on the corner of Los Héroes Boulevard and the Millet Street. Yes, it is. Yes. yes, it is. Okay, so then you can find. But you see, when you, when you hear Los Héroes Boulevard and the Millet Street, the picture comes to your mind, right? You say, mm, yes, that's okay, I got it. Okay, um, there is a Texaco uh, gas station on the corner of Los Héroes Boulevard and uh, Gabriela Mistral Street. Um, I can put that. And yes. also mm -hmm. and Puma, Texaco. Exactly, okay, very good. It's nice. You see, then you have the location. Yes, there is also a Puma, okay, gas station. Uh, across from, ahí usamos la, la tercera, across from Texaco. Mm. Okay, perfect, very good. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Hay una chica que quería hablar. No le escucho bien, Iris. Sé, sé que está en el on the corner of, pero no le. Ajá. Eh, uh -huh. uh, on the corner of Alameda Roosevelt y 25 Avenida. En 25. Okay, Alameda Roosevelt and 25th Avenue. Okay, very good. Very good. Kentucky Fried Chicken is on the corner of uh, Boulevard Los Héroes and Los Santos Avenues. Okay, that's a Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right, uh, Los Proceros. Uh, uh, Metro Center. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You're right. Yes. I got it now. Thank you. Now I was thinking about another, another. Good. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, good. Then if you see on the corner, on the corner of, across from, now we have across from. Across from. Next to. Between the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. 
The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay, que esta ya es la tercera. Okay, in the first one, in the first part of the video, vimos la conversación, okay? Ya, yeah. como lo usan en contexto. Ahorita, las prepositions en sus partes, right? On, sobre. On the corner of, en la esquina de. Right, it's in here, on the corner of, y se dicen las dos calles. Okay, que hace un contacto para formar la esquina. Then we have a cross from, es como al otro lado de, que al cruzar, en frente de. Next to, okay, a la par de. And then we have between, algo que está en medio de dos lugares. Por lo general, ocupamos lugares conocidos para que nos sirvan de referencia, right? In that case, we can have a reference using between, entre. Okay. Pensemos algo que esté across from. Ya vimos on the corner of, ahora piense en un lugar que esté enfrente de otro, que nos pueda servir mm -hmm. de referencia para ubicarnos. La iglesia del Rosario. Mm -hmm. It's across from Parque Libertad. Perfect. Okay. The Liberty. Okay. Those call them are like, for example, the, the Libertad. Yes. Park, right? It's a little park. Or place. What else? Another one? Um, la Biblioteca Nacional. Okay, the public, uh, the, the public library. It's across from um, Park Barrios. From uh, Barrios Park, yes, okay. Also the Cathedral, Cathedral Church yes. is across from Barrios, uh, Barrios Park, right? The National Palace. Is across from the Barrios Park. And uh, the National Theater. The is National across Theater. from uh, Place Murasang. Yes, okay, Murasang. Okay, good. Excellent place. Okay, I'm going to San Salvador. Okay, thank you, Iris. Okay, another one. Another famous place. What is across from it? What's across from it? The National Theater is across from uh, Plaza Barrios. Yes, yes. Um, no, it's a uh, Plaza Morazan. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And across, what do we have? What do we have across from Metro Centro? It has a Continental Hotel. Yes, correct. Okay. And across from Metro Sur? Is a Despensa. A supermarket, correct. A supermarket. Uh -huh. Yes, a Despensa, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so this is, you know, across from. And then we get the concept. In between. What is something that we can use between? Despensa supermarket is between hotel and Grupo Q. Uh, Grupo Q or no, Toyota, Idea, right? Idea. Uh -huh. Yes, Idea, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that is correct. Okay, okay, so you have the, the supermarket, then on the other side of the street, you have the Continental Hotel. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Car dealers. Okay, car dealers. There. Okay, good. What else? Another one? When this restaurant is between Burger King and Quiznos, okay, on Boulevard Harris Boulevard. On Harris Boulevard. Okay, good, excellent. La Reforma Street is between two gas station, Puma and Uno. 
That's reformed street. Okay. Yes, we can say that. Okay. What else? The Salvador is between uh, Guatemala and Honduras. The Salvador is between Guatemala and Honduras. Yeah, more or less, yes. Yeah, because we're close in the side. Yes. Oh, so ah, Guatemala and Nicaragua. And Nicaragua. Because the next one that we have is a little. Yes. And then it's in between Guatemala. Pango is. Is between um, Ciudad Delgado um, y Lopango. Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, that's enough. Okay, good. Then, okay, remember that these ones are, aquí lo que estamos dando ahorita son locations, okay? Ubicaciones. Y no estamos dando direcciones, metas aquí a la derecha, vaya a decir, okay, ¿dónde está exactamente? Un lugar, right? Let's say the apartment store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main Street. It's across from the park. Next to the bank. The bank is between the apartment store and the restaurant. Now let's listen to the rest of the conversation. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now, and let me point out the locations mentioned. The okay, now you're going to see the location with the names of the places, okay? Pay attention to the names. For example, here we have the Farm and Store, Citibank, eh, Maria's Restaurant. Then we have a movie theater here. Department is a shoe store, right? A, what is this? A drugstore, a supermarket, and bookstore, post office, hospital, gas station, and there is a parking lot. Okay, and then we have the street: First Avenue, Main Street, Second Avenue, and Center Street. Okay. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The US Post Office. The US Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. 
We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So we can use this map here and then we can ask questions, right? Uh, the question is very simple, right? Uh, let me write it there. I'm gonna write in chat. Okay, the question you're going to ask is where is? Then space. Okay, you can say where is the department store? Where is the city bank? Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the movie theater? Okay. And then you are going to ask your partner, okay? First, think about the question. Okay, think about the question. Where is? And then we are going to ask the other that question. Okay, can you see the map clearly or? Okay. Yes. Perfect. So then we can ask the question. Uh, Carlos, ask the question to Edith. Edith, where is the department store? Is on First Avenue. Okay, very good. Esa es una forma de decirlo, right? It's on First Avenue. Okay. Perfect. No problem. Okay. Or also That's you can say it's on the corner of First and Main. Or it's on the corner okay. of Main and First. The two format will be okay. No problem. Good. Okay. Now, Edith, ask the question to Iris. Okay. Iris, where is... I'm sorry. Where is the Goose Gas Station? Where is Gus Gas Gus Gas Station? This is Gus's Gas Station. Yes. Um, gas is Gas and Gas uh, Station mm -hmm. uh, on First Avenue. Is on First Avenue, okay. Si quieren dar una referencia, ¿qué dirían? It's on First Avenue. Front on the hospital. Mm -hmm across from the hospital okay very good okay good okay it is ask a question to hazel hazel yes mm, hazel uh, where is use post office okay where is the post office hazel okay here You just one one preposition here, so you can use only on or on the corner. On the corner, second and center. Uh huh. And then you say it's on the corner of Second Avenue and Center Street. Yes. Okay. Then uh. For him, ask a question to Herman. 
where is uh, Dan's drugstore? Okay. Drugstore. Drugstore. Yep. Uh, it's on Second Avenue. The drugstore is on. Oh, it's 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 okay, on yeah. the mm -hmm. it's on the corner of Second Avenue Center Street. Perfect. Yes, that's correct. Ah, ya lo que no me van a perder. That's good. Okay, German. Ask the question to Juan. Ya, ya lo puedo mandar a Estados Unidos todos. No problem. <laughs> Juan, where is the uh, hospital? Where is the hospital? Is is on the corner of um, Center Street and First Avenue. Excellent. No. Very good. Uh, on the corner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, the hospital is on the corner of Center Street and First Avenue. Here. Yeah, that's where. Okay, Juan, ask the question to Jose. Where is? Jose, where is a Chow's? No, no. Chow's? Okay, there's two. Chow's. There's that one. Favorite shoes. Oh, yes, it says. Favorite, huh? Favorite shoes. Where is the shoe store? Where is the shoe store? It's on. Mm -hmm. It's on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Okay, it's on the corner of Main Street, yes, and Second Avenue, yes. That's correct. Across oh, mm -hmm. from supermarket. Across from the supermarket. Okay, another reference. Good. Excellent. And then Jose, you asked the question to Gabi. Okay, ask question to Gabi. Okay, where is the US? Post office. It's between the hospital and bookstore. It could be that. No, no, no. Um, no okay. Yes, it had to be. Yes, it's a bookstore. Okay, but you can say better if you say it's uh it's on the corner of. El between uh, se usa okay. el between es más común usarlo así en la misma cuando están aquí como por. Cuando están pegaditos. Ajá, eh, así como en un solo una sola cuadra, right? Like the, the farmers. Okay, uh, uh -huh. Um, it's um the corner of. On the corner of Center um, Street. Street and Second Avenue. Exactly, that's correct. Very good. And let me see. Did you ask the question to to Karen. Okay, ask the question to Karen, please. Gary. Um. Where is the city bank? The city bank is on Main Street between department store and restaurant. That's correct. Okay, very good. Padding at the Adelaida. Where is the department store?
Okay, so I the light that has all the problem. Microphone. Okay. Then, uh, Sarai, can you answer a question? Where is the apartment store? So, okay, let me see. There is a message here. Okay, okay, thank you. No problem, Julissa? Where is the department store? Uh, Center Street. Mm, uh, this one. Uh, Third Avenue. Okay, First Avenue. Uh, Supermarket. Mm, no, the department store. This big building. It's on the corner. Okay, this one. Se ve mi puntero, sí, verdad? Say it's on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Sí. Okay. It's on the corner okay. of First Avenue and Main Street. It's still the department store. Okay. Next to, aquí podemos usar next to Citibank. Okay. Next to Citibank, across from the park. You can that otra. Across from the park. Eh, ah, no sé qué es esto de acá. But this would be opposite corner. Aquí sería eh, esquina opuesta. Así en diagonal, right? Esquina opuesta. Opposite corner. Okay, good. And then, eh, Rocio. What is the Regency movie theater? What is the Regency oh. movie theater? Okay, is on Park Street in front of Citibank. Okay, okay. It's uh it's on first street across from Citibank. Okay. Across from Citibank. Mm -hmm. Good. Or across from the park. Good. Okay, so then if you see these are locations where is talking about places, you know when to say uh, between Citibank is between the department store and a Mario's restaurant. Okay, ¿cuándo es más conveniente usar between? Cuando están así juntitos. O, por ejemplo, let me see. No hay, si esta calle tuviera un nombre acá, la que está en la post office, digamos que está fuera, eh, and, eh, I don't know, what is it? Maradona Street, right? Then you can say, for example, or no, tendría que ser Avenida. Okay, Maradona Avenue. Then you say, for example, the U.S. Post Office is between Maradona Avenue and Second Avenue. Ahí podríamos decir que está en medio de dos calles. Okay. Or in this case, uh, the city bank is between Main Street and Mario's Restaurant. Or you can say here, for example, the Mario's restaurant, the Citibank, and the department store are on Main Street between Second Avenue and First Avenue. Okay, the three the three places. Also, are uh, the Regency. The Regency movie is between the uh, between Parker Street and Second Avenue. Okay. Questions. Okay, I guess you did a good job. Teacher. Yes. The parking a lot is mm -hmm. between on Center Street and Main Street. Sería. Uh, uh -huh, exactly. The parking lot is between, you see? Rápido se ubica uno con Main Street and Center. Yes. I can see here. Yes, no problem. Center Street, see okay. acá, and then the Main Street. And then you can say on First Avenue too, right? The parking lot is on First Avenue. Ahí están las entradas, right? Between Center Street and Main Street. Ahí ya no se pierde. 
Ok, este llega, llega, va sobre first, va sobre on first street. Cuando llega Main Street y antes de pasar Center Street, usted sabe que ahí está the parking lot. Y puede dar okay. más referencias todavía. You can say on First Avenue, between Main Street, Center Street, across from the department store. Okay. Todas las zonas de eh, references that you can use. Okay. Good. Excellent. Now let's see the next practice we're going to have. Knowledge check. Look at this one. It says the knowledge check. Look at the map and listen to the audio program to answer the questions. What questions do we have to answer? Uh, Jorge, could you please read the questions? One, two, three, four questions. Where are where are they going? Okay. The second. Uh, where are they going? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the same. And then the other one is the same. Okay. This. So what we have to yeah. do is the location. Okay, where they are going is the farm store, the bank, Maria's restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, here changes to Davis Rock Store. Okay, pay attention to the uh, instructions they give. Okay. Okay, now listen. First, listen. Primero, no, just listen. Okay, here. Page 89, exercise six, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency movie theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So, it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. Okay, so those are the places where they are going. Okay, now you are going to listen again. Page 89, exercise 6, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency movie theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much.
Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on Second Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and Second Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Okay. So here we have, where are they going, right? Do you have this answer or do you want to listen again? Lo volvemos a escuchar en el mapa. Sí. Okay. Yes. Porque me perdí. No, it's okay, no problem. Okay, now <laughs> vamos a hacer algo. Let's do this one, let me see. Let's do an hour from this one. Okay, in and in. We're going to work on this one too. Okay. ¿Qué estrategia vamos a ir hoy? Van a ver aquí el mapa, escuchan mientras están escuchando y apuntan el lugar que ustedes creen a dónde va. Okay, y después lo comparamos en las preguntas. Okay, okay here we go. Page 89. Exercise six, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency movie theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on Second Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. Okay. Let's see. What do you remember? Where are they going in the first one? The department store. The bank. Laps department store. The bank. Uh, the, the bank. bank. The bank. The number two. The one. No, number, oh, number one. one is the bank. Okay. Yes. Yes. And mm. number two. No. Maria restaurant. Davis. Davis drugstore. Ok, eh, si alguien tiene otras respuestas, guárdenlas y después vamos a chequear, right? See if you were right. No problem. Where are they going, number three? Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. And number four? Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Ok, here we go. Wow, yes. Congratulations. You have just won 100 virtual dollars.
Okay. Good. So where are they going? To the bank in the first one. The next one is Davis Drugstore. Then you have Maria's Restaurant. And then you have um, Favorite Shoe. Eh, como les digo, esta es una estrategia, poner el mapa y escucharlo muchas veces y e ir apuntando, right? On a piece of paper or in the notebook. Eh, Cuáles son los lugares, right? Where que ustedes creen a los que van hasta que afinan bien el the place, okay? If it is necessary. All right. Eh, let me see now. So that's the... Okay, so we have for tomorrow, we have uh, ask for and give directions. Mañana vamos a aprender a decir turn right, turn left. Okay, illustrates how this topic is used. Okay, this is just... I won't, we won't, I won't play it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give. You help me? How do I get to? Okay, tomorrow we're gonna practice with uh, the same prepositions. Okay, and giving some walk up, go straight ahead, turn right, turn left. Okay, with the maps. Okay, but that's, uh, and tomorrow, we, uh, uh, tomorrow we're going to finish section three y vamos a hacer un repaso del midterm exam vamos a hacerle una chequeada para que lo puedan terminar en el fin de semana o antes si es posible o si ya lo pueden hacer mañana pues no problem lo hacen y mañana podemos eh, hacer alguna revisión de dudas que tengan okay but okay. I think that's for tomorrow okay everybody thank you very much for attending tonight's class have a very good night, rest, dream in English, and I see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Hey. Okay, bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.